Hello folks. I just one more time need to do a more in-depth tour of the community bathroom here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, I have had a couple of uh, I don't know I will call them concerns about the community bathroom that a that a tenant uh, shared and I'm just going to be perfectly honest uh, one, one more time I am telling folks this is not a five-star hotel okay and this is particularly for people renting the hummingbird tiny house which I think what is it $65 on a weeknight $79 on the weekends do keep in mind I do not charge a cleaning fee now the people in Blue Dragon and Seahorse have their own private outhouses okay they're outhouses meaning five gallon buckets that have no running water so the people in Blue Dragon and Seahorse are absolutely welcome to use the community bathroom it is the bathroom that goes with Hummingbird it is the only bathroom I have a house full of tenants that are being very kind to let me use their bathroom. They are under no obligation to do this. Okay, out of the kindness of their hearts, they are allowing me to do this. So there can be, particularly on the weekends, like last night, there were four, six, there were 11 people sharing this bathroom so understand particularly on weekends there is a chance if you do not want to use the private outhouse or if you want to come down here to take a shower you can be sharing this bathroom with a dozen other people Okay, d please understand this. Uh, I would love to tell you that every time someone goes into this bathroom and comes out, that I'm going to go in there and, and make sure, uh, y y y y you know what I'm saying. So guys, one more time, if you think this is going to be an issue with you, and you need a, you know, a, a sparkling Ritz-Carlton level of private bathroom. You are not going to find that at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And Bugs in a Jar Farm is not the right fit for you. So here is the bathroom. The community bathroom. Uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, Pollock, Jackson Pollock, I think, was the guy who, who, pa who painted this bathroom. It does what a bathroom needs to do. It has a flush toilet that works. It has a hot and cold water sink and a very, very small, basic shower. There is no bathtub, there is no swirling tub, there is no bidet uh, in this bathroom. It is what it is. And uh, as I say, 12 people can be sharing this bathroom. This, this, uh, this bathroom is at the back of a, what it is. I mean, the main house here is this uh, old cabin uh, that's, I think, 70 or 80 years old. Uh, the, the main cabin here. And this is the bathroom that was added on probably 50 years ago. So, guys...
it, it's I, I do not want anybody to come here and have a bad time okay if, if you come here and the bathroom is, is the 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 rusticness if that is the word of this bathroom uh, is going to just ruin your vacation do not uh, rent a a place here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, particularly Hummingbird. You're not going to be happy here. Uh, one more time, we are marketing this Airbnb to people looking for a very rustic experience with hopefully a little bit of civilization. Uh, we are looking for people who want a back to nature, uh, rustic experience for a very fair price, understanding that there is no cleaning fee added to it. I am a one man show here. So, uh, I don't know what I can say to make it any clearer. My goal is to share my home with people uh, who are looking for this kind of experience. Uh, if this is not the experience you're looking for, then pay a lot more money and find the experience you are looking for. I, I can't be any clearer than this, folks. Uh, anyway, so if you think you're the right fit for bugs in a jar farm come see us if you don't think you're the right fit i'm not insulted find a place where you are the right fit and everyone will be happier i think i've made that as clear as i can goodbye <laughs>